Hey there, YouTubers. This video is a little out of order because I had to take the one-eared diabetic cat up to the vet. Everything works out fine. But it was such a beautiful fall day that I figured I would do this out of order because if you want to get to beautiful Marquette, look at this place, you might want to hurry, get in your car, and get there as soon as you can because it is gorgeous. The drive was beautiful, and just, just the whole area of Marquette is just amazing. We only drove like 60 miles from one lake to the other. We went from Lake Michigan up to Lake Superior this time of year. It is just fantastic. So many people want to go to the East Coast, to the New England states and see that. I can't argue that they're beautiful, but look at this. This is just as beautiful. And if you're going to do it in the camping mode, it's a lot cheaper in the UP than the New England states are. So if you can finish watching this video, get in your car, RV or whatever, and get to the UP. Let's check out some more stuff here. Look at this, YouTubers. Uh, the reason we are back in the car is we are going to pick Vinny up. He spent the night at the vet's office. Hopefully everything's all right, and we're gonna get his sugar in the right place, and I'll talk more about that. But my goodness, what a beautiful fall. And it's warm. Well, it's 57 degrees, but it feels warm. And it's sunny. Yeah. If you turn right, you go to Trinary and you get all that Trinary toast. All right. I'll show you more when I show you more. Go. So first I want to tell you, if you're not really interested in the update to the cat stuff, because I know some of you aren't, just uh, close your ears or mute it and just watch the pretty leaves. So to explain what happened, the day before I took Vinny to the vet, because he'd been losing a lot of weight, he was eating well and all that good kind of stuff, but I was a little concerned about him losing weight. So we took him in and didn't expect it to be an overnight thing, but the vet checked him out real well and found out that his sugar was pretty low. It was 60. So it told us that we had done a good job of getting weight off him because he's down to like 12 and a half pounds. But because of that, we're probably giving him a little bit too much insulin. So he spent the night and apparently he did not have a good time there at all. Um, when we left him, there was a lot of dog barking and we checked at the end of the day and there was still a lot of dog barking. And they told us afterwards that he, he had struggled. They had to give him a little... Uh, relaxation medication to do all the tests that he needed to be done. They told me he was hissing at him and he was just in a foul mood. Just so you know, things are better now. He's back in the house and he is back to being the chill cat he usually has been. Very stressful for our pets when they go to the vet, so always try to keep that in mind. Looky, looky, looky. The colors are vibrant. Lots of oranges. Yeah, lots of orange and red. Yeah, I, I think it's different from yesterday. I'm going. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going. Why? Why shouldn't you? There's another car coming. Oh, you've got enough space. Yeah, so in all the times where I'm just showing you, I I expect that I'm talking about Vinny within it. So, yeah. I'll probably talk more coming back after I learn some more from it. Uh, fearing the bill. When you have to take your pets to... Uh, a vet, you fear the bill. That's why the boys and I have both been talking, and we're pretty sure we're both on our last pet. Unfortunately, I think for a lot of reasons, it's for the best. And sometimes that reason is straight up money. You don't want to say it, but if you're going to have a pet, you owe them to make sure they live a happy, healthy life. And that costs a lot of money nowadays. A lot of money see how much this day is going to cost. I'm going to go back, back to showing you pretty trees and then once we pick up Vinny and bring him back I'll probably tell you how much it costs. Probably. <laughs> I don't say that begrudgingly because I'll do whatever I need to do for the pets but you know it, it adds up after a while but again let's look at some pretty trees right now. So like I said, this video is out of order. There's another camping trip we do, a couple campground reviews we do, some food stuff, some thrift store stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna try to get caught up on. I don't know when I'm gonna get it posted, but I will post the day before this. That was just an amazing fall day in Marquette, Michigan.
So we got to the vet. Vinny was really glad to get picked up. Got some instructions. We'll take them back in a week to make sure everything's going well. But I think this cat needs some sleep. Vinny, you had a rough couple of days, huh? He was not happy there. Uh, they tried to wash him a little bit, but apparently he was upset enough that he laid in the litter box they had for him. And he smells nasty, so... Bad day on top of bad day, you're going to have to get a shower when you go back. You're going to get a bath. Yeah, you are. But... Doing better. I'll talk about it to the GoPro when we get going, but... We got some new changes, and... Seems like you're going to be okay. All right, YouTubers, we're heading back. We're going to go through Gwyn this time. It might be pretty stuff to show you. Vinny, you got to get back in there because you smell bad. Never lay in your own urine, cat. So, $626, which sadly, I thought it was going to be worse, but there's been... There's now a kind of dramatic change to his insulin. He's been getting three units twice a day, and the vet thinks he needs now one unit twice a day. So we're going to do that, and then next week we're going to take him back and let him check to see how that's working. So yeah, but Vinny's fine. He's going to get a bath. He's going to get a bath, you stink cat. Smelly cat. I wrote a song about you. It wasn't a very good song, but they wrote it. But the trees look pretty, and maybe I'll show you some more of that. Right, voice? Yep. Voice doing the driving. I'm doing the cat petting and hand stinking job. <laughs> My hands are gonna smell terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold the voice's face tenderly with these hands. No, you're not. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. No. No. Penny, we're gonna need a bath. Both <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Might I suggest that you just go into the shower and shower with the cat? Oh, I will be cleaning. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you more and maybe show you some of this if it gets pretty this enough. This is pretty. It's always pretty. The UP is a wonderful place, even when you got a diabetic cat. Costing you 620 You were a free cat. What? Okay. They're, building they're really building stuff up here in Marquette. Yeah, this, there's... A, a new, condos, a you new think? hotel, there's condos, there's a new, several new office buildings. I haven't been down this road for a while, and I'm, there's a new park, there's another new park. I mean, you got to give Marquette a lot of credit. They have a lot of outdoor options for people that want to hike or bike. Is this or that cross super expensive ski? campground? Yes, Rippling River. Oh, yeah, so we're by Marquette Mountain. Yeah, right, right Marquette here. Mountain's right here. Right here. That's where you go skiing. Yeah. And then if you see the next oh, turn, look how pretty. if you look to the right, maybe it's back right up that hill. Mm. But there's a really cool waterfall off to the right here. Why have you never taken me there? It's really hard to get to and you wouldn't like it because it's to get to it's kind of dangerous. Is it? Yeah. I'll oh. show you the video of when I went there. Oh. I'm lucky I didn't hurt myself. Okay, well then, then that's why I haven't gone yet because <laughs> I'm clumsy. Alright, that's it for now guys. So pretty. Eyes on the road, folks. You haven't gotten to drive in a few days. I like getting to be a passenger. I, I know. I've always loved driving, but sometimes I like to be driven around like I'm, you know, a fancy lady. You are a fancy lady. Miss Daisy. Uh, Miss Daisy wasn't fancy. She was kind of a bad lady. Miss Daisy? I don't know if I saw the whole movie yet. Maybe we need to watch it. Wasn't she like a racist? I don't know, but yeah. Morgan, Morgan Freeman was her driver. Yeah, so. I think she was kind of like a racist. I think that's the whole premise of the movie. I've never seen the movie. Maybe maybe we need to. Ah. Oh, they this work on RV generators there. That's good to know. It is good to know. Right. Well, it's very good to know because i got to find now. out if I haven't used mine since it tried to fall out. All right, GoPro. I don't even know why I'm talking to you guys. I smell like cat pee. My hands smell like cat pee. Here, give me a hug, voice. Okay. The vet bill was so expensive because I basically had them run every acronym test they could run. It sounded like, you know, if you watch a doctor show or an ER show, all the things they're spouting out run this test. It sounded a lot like that. I was just saying to the voice that this part, this road here, gives me such a different feel than the rest of the UP. We haven't been on this road in a while. We noticed a lot of new construction and stuff a little further back that we didn't 
talk about, but this road just feels so much different. The voice was just genuflecting, so I'll let her genuflect if she wants to. We were a little sad. We didn't do a lot of camping this summer, did we? No. Is that all you got? You were just saying <laughs> deep, meaningful, heartfelt stuff, and well, now I, you say no. I missed it. I yeah. miss it. I'm sorry we didn't get to. We had camped the year before. We cap camped a lot in this general area. We went to a lot of places. We did. We probably spent two weeks going to about six or seven campgrounds. Yeah. I like it here. Yeah. I, you know, we look for property. I, I think this would be... Look out, Crow. Thank you. I think this would be a good place. Sure. If you live in that shed right there. <laughs> I don't think I would. I wouldn't mind being a half hour from... Marquette? No. Would you? Not at all. That's what it is. The last time we've been here is when we came by Browns to get the big ugly bastard pasty. That's been closed a while now. It used to be their post office too. What did they do? Know. You know, for Little Lake, that was their post office. Yeah. They gotta go to Gwyn now. You think? They gotta get a P.O. box in Gwyn. Huh. That's my guess. That's the responsibility of the mail delivery probably got transferred over there. There was a lot of mail. There was a lot of boxes there. I don't know how full they were, you know, how many were being used, but there was a lot of them in there. Mm -hmm. That's old school. That's like we're living in the 40s back then where it was a store, a gas station, and a post office all in one tiny little building. This person isn't even going to speed. Not here we go. This person in this little Chevy is going to get pushed off the side of the road if they're not careful. We'll see. Hmm. There's a bunch of cars there. Hmm. They're at the throttle. Mm -hmm. At the bottom tavern. Oh no, yeah, that's, that's closed. That's, not okay. that's still closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't get the big ugly bastard no more. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, very sad. It was a good ugly pasty. A good, a good ugly pasty? Good ugly pasty. You need to go, car. I'm going to shut up because YouTubers don't want to hear it. I think my blood sugar is low and that's why I'm getting cranky. She's very cranky, YouTubers. Um, that's not true at all. It's not true. But this is not, this drive is not as pretty as 41 today. They got not as much there's... trees. There's a lot of pine. Yeah. Not as much pretty color. And we got this Chevy in front of us that, I don't know, don't read a newspaper. You might find out something bad happened to that car because the voice is at the, her wit's end. That's a gross exaggeration. It is. It is. People like exaggerations. Well, half the, half the people do. Yeah, there's no color. Just the tamaracks are a little bit yellowed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Look at me knowing a tree. Stop the presses and... She wants me to record something so I don't forget it. We were talking about... Insulin pens as opposed to a vial. Because if he's down to basically two units a day, I'll be throwing insulin vials away before I'll use them up. You will. Because it already... He already pushes a limit at six units a day, you know? Yep. Sometimes I probably use the insulin a little longer than I should on the Googles and finding out if they make those for cats and then talking to the vet about it. Yep. I think that's a good idea. It's a very good idea. It is. <laughs> he's pushing he's pushing his head between my feet and now he's got his feet up by his nose. God, you smell like urine. <laughs> smells like a nursing and, home. And all it's a little pretty. This car is still riding along the road without being in any trouble from us. So if you read the newspaper, it wasn't us. We didn't do it. Pretty spot, pretty spot. Record the pretty spots. Yeah, there's some birch trees here. Yeah, the voice was just saying how when she was younger, there just used to be a lot more birch up here. But, you know, they've had that disease for a long time now, and birch just make forests look so pretty. Birch trees are just beautiful. Good fire started in bark. Mm -hmm. And look, see? Those people are still safe in the vehicle up ahead. Hey, boo -boo. We got you smelling a little less like pee, but it's time to get you dry now. You're not gonna like this. No, 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 dude. 
Dude, I got the hair dryer. We wash, washed you, now we gotta dry you. <laughs> All right, that's enough for YouTube. That's mean for you to make sure you're on YouTube. But you can see he had an IV. He spent two days there, and he is very glad to not be there anymore. You one-eared fool. All right. Yeah, we got to get you dry, though, Bubba. At least you don't smell like pee anymore. And Vinny says, have a great and wonderful day.